So recently we started looking at complex numbers and we said that complex numbers are combinations of real numbers and imaginary numbers. So for example, if I say z is equal to 3 plus 2i, then this is the real part and this is the imaginary part because that's what the i stands for. Now, we are actually going to be able to graph a complex number. All I want you to remember is that you you know normally you have like an x and a y axis? Well, when you are graphing complex numbers, you don't have x and y. You have a real line and you have an imaginary. Okay, so just remember that. And it must be in that order, by the way. You can't put the imaginary one over here and the real one here. It must be real on the x-axis or the original x-axis and then imaginary on the y. So if I ask you to graph this, then it's very easy. The real part is 5. So where's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so just remember that it's there. But we're not going to put a dot there. And then what is the imaginary part? It's minus 1, so you go 1 down. Okay, so that means you're gonna go, we're gonna go five across and one down, so there's your dot. So that is the answer. You don't have to draw a line, you don't do anything, you're literally just gonna go put a dot. That is how you graph um, an imaginary, sorry, a complex number. Okay, so here's your next one, you can try this one. So the real part is negative one, so we go one to the left. Then the imaginary part is four, so we go four up, one, two, three, four. Put a dot, that's the answer. That is literally how you do it. Here's the next one. So the real part is five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we go five to the right, and then we go three up. Um, one, two, three, and there we have it. That is a complex, that is how we graph a complex number.